So, a whole new range of Pixel devices was just announced, but in this video, we're going to focus on the Pixel Buds Pro 2. What's new about it, some predictions I have about its performance, as well as one important thing, which it should have by now, but it still does not have. A review is coming, so if you don't want to miss it, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. Now, by and large, it's not a radically new design, but it does have some important upgrades. For those of us who had issues with the Pixel Buds Pro's fit, it now comes with stability fins that locks the buds in place to ensure that it doesn't fall out as easily as the previous model. The buds are also smaller, and if we were to take Google at their word, it should fit more snugly compared to the Gen 1 Pixel Buds Pro. Now, the most important upgrade is inside the buds themselves. It is the new Tensor A1 chip. It's a more power-efficient chip that helps extend battery life, as well as being more advanced. According to Google, this chip enables noise cancelling to be twice as good as the previous model, and it powers Silent Seal 2.0, which reacts to a wider range of noises from the lows to the high frequencies. Personally, I think it's plausible, but only if the Pixel Buds Pro 2's fit is good enough to provide a good seal in the ear canal. Tensor A1 also powers conversation detection. This is basically Google's equivalent to Sony's Speak to Chat and Apple's conversation awareness. The mics will listen out for your voice, and using AI will detect you speaking and switch to transparency mode automatically so you can have a conversation without having to take out your earbuds or switch manually into transparency mode. It then switches back into noise cancelling when you stop speaking. Now, Speaking of microphones, what was impressive about the previous Pixel Buds Pro is the mic pickup. It had fantastic noise gating and great voice clarity even in noisy places, which is why I recommend it for phone calls on loudandwireless.com slash recommendations. But interestingly, they're saying that Gen 2 has improved mic pickup further on top of Gen 1's already great mic pickup with new algorithms that reduce noises in more scenarios. If that is true, the Pro 2 could very well lead the industry in terms of crystal clear phone calls. So, from just looking at what Google's saying, the Pixel Buds Pro 2's upgrades are quite meaningful, but what could possibly hold people back from widespread adoption is that it still does not have full iOS support. I mean, yes, you can definitely connect them to iPhones and iPads, but you won't be able to access all of its features, settings, or even its firmware updates. Now, those things are available on a Pixel device, which this Pixel Buds Pro 2 has full integration with, or through the Google Pixel Buds app on Android, but not on iOS devices since the App Store does not have the Pixel Buds app even now. The second thing that could be an issue is the price. It's more expensive than the previous model at launch, which could give people some pause. This really comes down to you, are the upgrades substantial enough to pay more this time compared to the Pixel Buds Pro, which is already heavily discounted. Now, based on what Google's saying, I would say maybe. I mean, I would have to test them properly and thoroughly so that you can make a more informed purchase decision. Like I said, that video is coming as soon as I get my hands on the Pixel Buds Pro 2. So get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. I post frequency response charts on X as well as other things. So do follow me there and click here to learn how the Gen 1 Pixel Buds Pro's microphones compare to the competition.